டாக்டர் அர்ஜுன் கன்சல்டன்ட் பர்னாலஜிஸ்ட் அட் கோஷிஸ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ராமூர்த்தி நகர் பேங்களூர் ஐம் ஹியர் டு டாக் டு யூ அபவுட் டியூபர்க்ளோசிஸ் ஆன் மார்ச் ஆஃப் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர்த் வி ரீசன்ட்லி செலிப்ரேட்டட் வேர்ல்ட் டியூபர்க்ளோசிஸ் டே மோதன செலிப்ரேஷன் இட் வாஸ் அ மீன்ஸ் டு பிரிங் அபவுட் அவேர்னஸ் அபவுட் ஹவு டெட்லி அ டிசீஸ் இஸ் டியூபர்க்ளோசிஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு ரேம்பெட் இட் இஸ் இன் சொசைட்டி India being a developing nation is one of the countries with a very high burden of the disease so it is quite important to know what the symptoms of tuberculosis are not just for yourself but also for those around you because this is a communicable disease it is airborne in nature and can spread by a cough droplets right so a person with tuberculosis typically complains of cough which is present for more than 2 weeks uh, some sputum production as well again over a duration of 2 weeks but more typically they complain of loss of weight which is unintentional uh, associated with loss of appetite they also tend to complain of fever which is typically present in the evenings or late at night uh, again often uh, night sweats is a term we use when they complain of excess sweating at night without any obvious reason for the same uh, while these are the typical symptoms there are a wide variety of other manifestations as well that a person with this infection can manifest with it is predominantly a respiratory infection uh, which is why uh, it is communicable and uh, uh, we have a very in india we have a very high burden of the disease and hence uh, governments have over the past few decades come up with national policies to improve diagnosis treatment and cure rates so for diagnosis Uh, what we typically do is advise for something known as a chest x-ray this would give us an idea of the presence of any lesions in the chest x-ray which would suggest tuberculosis while chest x-ray itself is not definitive for diagnosis what is definitive for diagnosis is demonstrating the presence of organisms that lead to tuberculosis the organism's name is mycobacterium tuberculosis and we analyze the sputum under the microscope and look for its evidence it is only when the organism is present do we say it is a confirmed case of tuberculosis so uh, the government of india through the national tuberculosis elimination program has made sputum testing that is genetic testing of the sputum for dna of the mycobacterium tuberculosis organism testing for this free and mandatory for all persons in whom tuberculosis is a uh, suspicion Okay. these tests can be done at any of your uh, uh, primary health centers district hospitals community health centers and tertiary hospitals as well run by the government for free of cost of course it is also available at many private labs as well so the test name is gene expert it the aim is to detect dna of the mycobacterium tuberculosis organism and thereby confirm diagnosis so the problem does not end there the problem is in preventing spread in community so uh, typically we do advise among those who are confirmed with tuberculosis a period of isolation for one month during which time typically uh, we use the term they turn negative right and the sputum was positive for tuberculosis after a course of treatment correct treatment for of one month they tend to become negative the importance of genetic testing has not been just to uh, diagnose tuberculosis per se this test also gives us additional information in the form of drug sensitivity to the organism that is whether the medication that we are going to give for tuberculosis will work or not because we have noticed with the with the high prevalence of the disease quite a few persons are resistant to the standard treatment that we give for tuberculosis hence genetic testing that is gene expert which is the trade name and cbnat is the uh, a genetic name of the uh, technique that we use for diagnosis of tuberculosis if you are diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis the precautions that we uh, like you to take as a healthcare professional is if you are having cough and producing sputum we recommend that you uh, ideally cough in an environment that is more open open spaced uh, environment to prevent spread to the community or those around you if you are in a close place the the odds of you transmitting the infection to those uh, anyone else in the room is quite high uh, 
the other option is we use a spittoon through which you can uh, dispose your sputum the sputum that is produced and the spittoon should be also containing a disinfectant something like betadine right if you are not if you are outdoors you could use a tissue paper into which uh, you could uh, you expectorate the sputum and dispose it ideally uh, probably under soil rather than in a dustbin where anyone else can come in contact with it if your loved ones uh, is diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis it is a stigma in our society when someone is diagnosed with tuberculosis because of the want of isolation it is important to provide uh, emotional and physical support for such patients and also ensure their nutrition because uh, replenishing nutrition is very important in ensuring complete cure of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis keep in mind pulmonary tuberculosis is a completely curable disease when treated when diagnosed early and treated adequately india being a country uh, with a large population there are a wide variety of doctors who diagnose pulmonary tuberculosis but uh, as a common citizen what you need to know is the confirmed diagnosis is only through sputum analysis where you assess where uh, the organism is found one and second chest x rays or ct scans of the thorax are mostly done to support the diagnosis of tuberculosis so when you are started on treatment for tuberculosis without sputum evidence it must again be documented as clinically diagnosed tuberculosis and it is recommended that all cases of tuberculosis be notified to the uh, national tuberculosis elimination program officers so these individuals are present in tb clinics which are present in most medical colleges most uh, tertiary care hospitals and if you are in a more if you are in a rural setting probably primary health centers or the nearest community health center uh, or you could also inform your local anganwadi worker who will register you under the program and you stand to reap some benefits of the program so the idea is to keep track and to ensure completion of treatment the course of treatment typically is 6 months but can extend for longer periods according to your doctor's discretion based on the assessment of uh, your health condition as far as tuberculosis is concerned it is important to get registered therefore under uh, the national tuberculosis elimination program so when your di- when a diagnosis of tuber pulmonary tuberculosis has been made it is it is important to start correct treatment so uh, under the national tuberculosis elimination program uh, provided by the government of india treatment for tuberculosis is free of cost so if you are registered under the program you will get medications which are which are dispensed regularly every 2 weeks uh, to you and will be completely free of cost so as i mentioned earlier tuberculosis is very rampant in our country as a result of which many doctors end up having to treat tuberculosis so um, treatment protocols tend to vary as a result the government of india has given Uh, standard regimens of for treatment of tuberculosis and it is essential uh, that you understand that if you are diagnosed with tuberculosis that you are indeed receiving the prescribed regimen of treatment the regimen is a 2 month course of intensive phase of medications and a 4 month course of continuation phase of medications which is again may be extended depending on the treating doctor's discretion to conclude tuberculosis not only affects the lung it can affect any organ in our body and hence if you are having any symptom that is lasting more than 2 weeks most importantly fever loss of weight loss of appetite do consult the relevant specialty to ensure you get an early and correct diagnosis so that we can start treatment early and thereby ensure complete cure of the disease thank you